Hi, I am Dr. K. Kannan, Associate Professor in Mathematics, Department of Science and Humanities, Hindustan College of Engineering and Technology, Coimbatore. In this section, I am going to discuss about the linear partial differential equations in the first order. In a linear partial differential equations of the first order, which involves the partial derivatives P and Q only, and no higher order derivatives is called first order equations. If P and Q have the degree 1, it is called linear partial differential equations of first order. Otherwise, it is called nonlinear partial differential equations of first order. For example, we consider Px plus Qy square, Qy square is equal to Z. Here, P and Q is the first order derivatives. That power of one is, P and Q is our 1. So, it is a linear partial differential equations. Suppose you have to consider p square plus q square is equal to 1, here the derivative to the power is involved the more than 1. It is called non-linear partial differential equations. Now we have to discuss about the how to solve the linear partial differential equations. Here Lagrange's linear equations, a linear partial differential equations of order 1 and involving dependent variable is that two independent variables x and y and is of the form capital P into small p plus capital Q into small q equal to r. Here capital P, capital Q, capital R are functions of x, y, z is called Lagrange's linear equations. In this case, first of all we have to find out the axillary equation. This axillary equation is also called a subsidiary equation. In this form of axillary equation is here written as dx by p equal to dy by q equal to dz by r. In this above equations can be used the different cases. If it is a possible in separable variable then consider any two equations and solve by using integration let the solutions of the equation are u equal to a and u is equal to b. Generally, the required solutions of the given equation of the form is phi of uv equal to 0. If it is a not possible to separable variable, we have to form to dx by p equal to dy by q equal to dz by r. After this, to solve the above type of problems, we have following different types of method. One of the method is method of grouping, another one is method of multipliers. In a method of grouping, we have to simply we use this separable variable method. In a method of multipliers, we have to choose any multipliers L, M, N so that denominator equal to 0. In this a form of Tx by P equal to Dy by Q equal to Dz by R equal to L dx plus M dy plus N into Dz divided by 0. And after this, we have to simply we have to take integration will be get the required solutions of the given linear partial differential equations. For example, solve p x square plus q y square is equal to z square. Here we have to compare with the general form of Lagrange's linear equations and we identify capital P and capital Q and capital R. Here capital P is equal to x square, capital Q is equal to y square, capital R equal to z square. First of all, to find out axillary equations. Here the axillary equations can be written as dx by p equal to dy by q equal to dz by r. Just to be substituting the value of p, q, z in this e above equation, dx by x square equal to dy by y square equal to dz by z square. Here the given function is involved only single term functions. So it is a possible to separate the variables. So simply we use this method of grouping here. I will be consider the first two equations here dx by x square equal to dy by y square. Simply we are identified the left side and right side only for x and y variable. So directly we use this ordinary integration, integration of dx by x square equal to d integration of dy by y square. So we have to use this integration, the solution u equal to 1 by x minus 1 by y. Similarly, we have to consider the another pair dy by y square equal to dz by z square. Here also the left side and right side is only involving y and z. Use the integration so v equal to 
1 by y minus 1 by z. Hence, the general solutions of the given linear partial differential equations can be written as pi of uv equal to 0. Simply, we apply the both the solutions in this above equation. Pi of 1 by x minus 1 by y comma 1 by y minus 1 by z equal to 0. This is another examples for method of multipliers. Solve x into z square minus y square p plus y into x square minus z square into q equal to z into y square minus x square. Here also we have to compare with the, the general form of Lagrange's linear equations and we identify the value of capital P, Q and R. After this to find out axillary equations in the form of dx by capital P equal to dy by capital Q equal to dz by capital R. After this we have to choose the multipliers x, y, z and we will be multiplied and divided by in each equations for the axillary equations. We get dx, x dx plus y dy plus z dz divided by 0. Simply using this integrations here, the solution is x square plus y square plus z square is equal to some constants. Similarly, we find out another possible solutions. Choose the multipliers 1 by x, 1 by y, 1 by z, which is all are equal to 1 by x dx plus 1 by y dy plus 1 by z dz divided by 0. So, we take cross multiplication in this form we can be written as 1 by x dx plus 1 by y dy plus 1 by z dz equal to 0. We using integrations here, integration of 1 by x we know this, the dx is equal to logarithm x. So, simply we get the solution is log of x plus log of y plus log of z equal to log of some constants. Log a plus b is equal to here log a b. So, it will be written as log of x y z is equal to log of some constants. So, simply both the side logarithm is cancelled. So, another solution is x y z is equal to some other constants. Hence, the general solutions of the given partial differential equation of the given problem is pi of x square plus y square plus z square comma x y z equal to 0. Thank you.